Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Mathusiasm. Today we're going to solve this tricky problem of geometry. We are given the areas of three triangles. Find the area of the blue region A, D, F, E. First of all, this part looks different from the others. Let's draw the line AF to divide it into two triangles. The areas of the two smaller parts are X and Y. You see, the figure is random without any congruent similar nor isosceles triangles. It seems to be quite hard. However, as we have a lot of areas, we can talk about their ratios. It turns out to be the key idea to solve this problem. Moreover, to solve for the two unknowns x and y, we need two equations. So the solving strategy is a combination of geometry and algebra. Let's check it out. Now look at a simpler figure. Let's find the area of the red triangle ABD. If we take DB as the base, then we draw the height AP. Can you see that AP is also the height of the green triangle ACD? Although the two triangles are totally different, one is acute angle triangle and the other is obtuse angled triangle, they share the same height. So we can find the ratio of the areas of the two triangles. The area of triangle ABD is equal to 1 over 2 times the base DB times the height AP. Likewise, the area of the green triangle ACD is equal to 1 over 2 times the base DC times the height AP. Cancel out 1 over 2 and AP will have DB over DC. It means that the ratio of the areas is equal to the ratio of bases. This is true if the two triangles share the same height. Now, we can use this idea to solve the area problem. How to do it? Let's look at the red triangle ADF and the green triangle ACF. The ratio of the areas is equal to the ratio of the bases DF over CF. Therefore, x over y plus 15 is equal to df over cf. Can you figure out another pair of triangles with these two bases as well? Right, it's the red triangle bdf and the green triangle bcf. Therefore, df over cf is equal to 10 over 20, which is equal to 1 over 2. Now, we can put these two equations together cross multiply to get rid of the fractions and rearranging the terms we have y is equal to 2x minus 15. let's call this equation one all right everything looks good so what's next let's focus on another pair of bases this time we take bf and ef the ratio of the bases is equal to the ratio of the red triangle abf and the green triangle aef therefore bf over ef is equal to x plus 10 over y. We can also check out another pair of triangles, which are triangle cbf and triangle cef. Therefore, bf over ef is also equal to 20 over 15, which is equal to 4 over 3. Again, we can put the two equations together. Cross multiply it, then we have 3 times bracket x plus 10 is equal to 4y. Let's call this equation 2. We've done all the geometry. Let's move on to the algebra. Now, we have simultaneous equations in x and y. Put equation 1 into equation 2. It is a simple linear equation. Solving that, we'll have x is equal to 18. Put this value back to equation 1, then y is equal to 21. Therefore, the area of ADFE is the sum of x and y, which is equal to 39. Pretty much easy, isn't it? If you want to know more interesting problems about geometry, please check out the links of the videos and playlists on the screen and in the descriptions below. See you in next video.